Okay, so here I have a CD101 PID controller from Sure Electronics, and uh, I'm going to show you an issue that I'm having with this particular model of PID controller. Um, but before I can do that, I have to apply power. So I'll switch on the AC power, and uh, you can see that I've got it set for degrees Celsius display and uh, K-type thermocouple input. Um, so now the PID controller is running, and uh, you can see that it's indicating 22 degrees Celsius uh, temperature, uh, which is the temperature. I just have the thermocouple sitting here on the bench, uh, so that's the room temperature here. Uh, and I've got the set point set to 25 degrees Celsius, which is just above the ambient temperature, and you can see that the output one light is flashing. Um, you can also see I've connected an LED to the output one terminals on the back of the controller, so every time the output one light flashes, the LED flashes as well. Uh, now the issue I'm having is that if I put the PID controller into stop mode, um, what should happen is, uh, according to the manual, it should disable uh, the outputs and alarms. So let's see what happens. Um, I'll go ahead and hold down the run stop button for a couple seconds. And you can see that now the display is indicating stop, so the PID controller should be in stop mode. Um, however, um, you can see that the output one light and the LED are still flashing. So even though the PID controller is in stop mode, uh, it's continuing to cycle the outputs, which I, I don't think that's what's supposed to happen in this mode. Um, so uh, I'm not sure why it's continuing to cycle the outputs, but my understanding is that in this mode, the output should be off. Um, and the reason this might be an issue is that if you had this PID controller connected to something like a solid state relay uh, and that was controlling, you know, say a heater, for example, um, ideally what you'd like to be able to do is put the controller into stop mode and uh, the heater would, would stop um, uh, operating. So um, in this particular case, because stop is not functional, you actually have to remove power from the PID controller in order to uh, disable the outputs. So that's the issue I'm having, and uh, maybe there's a setting uh, or something that can be changed, but uh, at this point I'm not sure, and uh, I'm going to, try, going to try to contact uh, Sure Electronics support and uh, see what, what we can figure out.